Okay, so she's lost her eye, we've been blown up or something, everything looks pretty messed up, and that guy's saying there's a war zone going on. Let's do this! What is up guys, it is Jordan here and welcome to The Division. That was a little intro video, you just saw some tips, I'll probably edit it down a bit because it was quite long. But we're going to be playing the beat of The Division which I'm so excited for, I've been waiting for this to come out for ages, what feels like my entire life because it was announced so long ago. So yeah, we're going to be hopping into some of this right now, we're going to be creating a character real quick. Again, I'll probably edit this down a bit just so it's not so drawn out. And I don't, oh, randomize, okay, I don't, I don't want to randomize, I'm, wait, what? So everything's locked except for randomize. Okay. That's kind of retarded, I guess. Whatever. Okay, we'll keep pressing randomize until I get someone that looks partially like me, I guess. Okay, I think I think it's like predefined faces actually going through them. I think they're all quite similar. Just hold on. He was leading ops in the post office, but we lost contact when he left base this morning. If he's still ready to sign the by tomorrow, there's talk of pulling out. No one's pulling out. We're taking this city back. Get whatever gear you need. I'll catch up with you. Good luck out there. Y'all made it. Okay, so she's lost her eye. We've been blown up or something. Everything looks pretty messed up. And that guy's saying there's a war zone going on. Let's do this. So we've got to go check out the Quartermaster, hopefully get some cool gears. I hope there's a looting system in this game, like, you know, once you kill someone, like, like Borderlands type thing, kill someone, loot something. That sounds pretty cool, that's my kind of game, so I'm really hoping that's in the game, so yeah. This is pretty cool. The graphics, uh, they don't look as, again, they don't like Watch Dogs, they don't look as good as they did when it was first announced, but I think everyone was kind of expecting that, so it's no shocker that the graphics aren't as good as they were announced to be. So... Actually, I thought this was the quartermaster. Oh, other players. Oh, this is cool. So there are other people around and stuff. View player. Must admit, this is pretty cool. I didn't realize it was going to be sort of MMO-ish, where you could see lots of other players around. I was thinking more sort of Destiny-ish. In fact, it probably is kind of Destiny-like, where you can only see people around here. And I think it just went past a shop guy. I'm assuming this quest icon thing here is where I'm supposed to be going, not that quartermaster guy there. But you know what? We're just going to keep following the... Uh, quest icon when I figure out how to get around the stupid fence but yeah so far looking pretty cool the graphics do look nice they're not as good as E3 but they look nice I, I, I'll go with it stash oh I see this pretty cool so I'm assuming you can just yeah store some stuff in here and it's my inventory three guns it's pretty cool Okay, this looks like to this sorry, ugh, can't speak. This looks like the way to go. We've got another like decontamination zone. I think we have some cool skills coming up or something. The little tutorial thing at the beginning said to oh wrong button. Uh, yeah, the little tutorial thing said that we could do like map them to the right bumper or left bumper. 
There you go. Skill available. You know have uh, sorry. You know have available skills and stuff. Yeah, whatever. Let's, let's just go through. So we've got security, uh, ballistic shield. Pretty cool. So you can hold the ballistic shield. It's awesome damages. What we like to see. Sticky bomb. Pretty cool. Sticks to all services. I like that. But. I don't know, what's the last one? Medical. Uh, sends out a recon pulse that marks hostiles and allies through... Well, that's cool. Okay, seeing through walls. Yeah, it's all about that. So, right bumper? Yeah, it's managed right bumper. Cool. This is pretty cool. I like this. There's a little skill tree. I like skill trees and stuff like that. I think it can add so much to an RPG. Uh, well, not an RPG. RPGs generally have skill trees. But, like, a game in general, it just allows you to develop your character so much more when you have, like, skill trees. And then, obviously, as you saw, I think you can see you can modify each skill. So, although there's only about 16 or so skills, you can see that each one can be modified with, like, four different modifier-type things. But, yeah. Anyway, this is... So far, the graph is looking... Oh, God, there's a lot of dead bodies there. <laughs> and some rats. Good old rats. Come with me, rats! We go forth the battle tonight. That was really weird. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so far this looks really good. Like graphically, it does look really nice. It's not E3 good, but it is still a damn good looking game. I mean, just just look at this this water. Water always looks good. Like Watch Dogs, pretty crap compared to E3, but the water still looked dead, drop dead gorgeous. Don't know what I was going to say. The dead drop. Oh, 400 XP. Nice. Level up, which is definitely not a hit. You know. A, Thing to my name, whatever my channel's not good level up. What? I don't know what I want about. I'm just pretty excited to play this game. I've been looking forward to playing this for ages. And oh, hello, friendlies. Stay cool. I got no issue with you. Okay, so we got some more people. Yeah, as I was saying, sorry, I wasn't expecting uh, like just normal friendlies walking around. I was expecting just like a giant open world where everyone you see is trying to kill you. But this is pretty cool. Cough, cough, Borderlands. Everyone you see trying to kill you. Unless, of course, you're in Sanctuary. I don't want to keep comparing this to Borderlands. There's nothing like Borderlands. Oh, hello. More friend. Ah! What does that mean? Okay, not friendlies. Double headshot. Double. Double kill. Okay, so <laughs> they were just like mugging some guy. Don't worry about me. I am protector of the division land. I don't know what this place is called. I don't know what like area this is set in. I'm just going to go with it. Yeah, they, they look pretty chill. Gotta, gotta keep my guard now. But it wasn't even aiming yet. I was looking at the ground. What the fuck? Plus, I just like saved some guy from getting mugged. So I'm, so I'm just fiddling around with the rolling mechanic. So he's got a little cover mechanic as well. I think you can climb over all the cars and stuff like that. Yeah, you can climb over any point of any car, which is cool. So the invisible walls suck. They look pretty chill as well. Got my MP5, and I think it's like an M4. I think it's like an M4. I'm not too good with my gun names, but I think it's an M4. Alert. Intercepting JTF radio traffic. Oh shit, we've got a little battle gun on down here. We've got friendlies and everything. This is cool. This is cool. I like the fact that it's not just like UV the world. Like, you have an actual story going on and stuff. I don't know who these guys are, but I'm assuming we're going to learn about them at some point. But let's kill some noobs. And by noobs, I mean crappy AI. Level 4, so I looked at things. I don't even know what level I am, I'm assuming 1. So, yeah, I'm pr pretty out level, I guess. If I if I was to die or anything, that would totally be because they're level 4 and not because I suck. I think my sensitivity is a bit off as well. <laughs> I'm aiming really slowly. What's up, guys? So I guess we have to, like, hold the line here? Yeah, defend the JTF officer. Ah, JTF, that's what they're called. I think I had that name earlier, I said somewhere, but... I guess they're, like, the military-type people. Which is cool. I'm liking this so far. Gunplay's pretty cool. I mean, yeah, my sensitivity's too low, but I can't be asked to change it. Oh, got some more noobs coming down. Coming to the slaughterhouse. Got my bros here as well. Right, you know what, we're going to move up. We're going to take these guys head on. Where's the other guy? Oh, there he is. I wonder if he can melee this guy. I think we're going to have to figure it out. I'm going to assume it's right click. Let's do this. It is right click. Oh, God, he's he's not dying. Ah! Bitch, trying to knock me out. Cheesed. No oh, cool. There is a looting system. Nice. It's like a Borderlands looting system where they drop guns and it's like. Got, I'm assuming by the fact that it's green, that's like rarity level. My guess is green is like common, and then you get like blue or purple. I don't know. Blue and purple is like speaking wow terms, but I don't know what it is going to be. But I'm assuming that's what the color indicates, which is really cool. I love looting, as I said earlier. So that's this is cool. I approve. These guys are so chill. Like I was just having a massive war down there. And these guys are like, sup? Magic. 
Try not to shoot at anyone who's trying to help you. Over. I think that Fei Lu person is the one who's like missing an eye or something. Alert. Patching into local GTR radio cams. Unit 43, be advised you have incoming... Nice. Seen through walls. Threats found three. That's cool. It tells you how many people there are. And everything. That's that's cool. Cool move. Good choice. Oh shit! Did he just like spontaneously combust? <laughs> Sorry, my voice is a bit funny. I'm, I'm quite tired. I, because of the time differences, I woke up really early to play this because the servers opened at ten in C time, C E T or whatever it is. I can't remember it's called now. Um, but yeah, I think there's like two or three hours difference between my time and that time, so it's quite early for me actually. What's this guy doing down here? Just pop up a little nice cheeky headshot. Cheeky headshot. Oh, there's my XP bar on the top right hand corner. I'm level 4. Oh, shit. Let's go. We got a boss here. Jesus. I'm assuming that's like yellow means armor, I'm guessing. And he's got a little rank there. He's a private. So he's not actually that boss like, but he's tough for us. Ow. I think I just. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I wasted all my medikits. Alright. You know what? Medikits. You know what? Men don't need medikits. Let's do this. Okay, so there's one thing I just noticed there, which a lot of people probably won't even care about. But that that door there, the way I slid to it, and it just shut on its own. If you watch the E3 trailer, like when you go near a door, your character sort of like automatically uses his hand to close the door in like a really nice animation. But for some reason, they've obviously removed that, and now the door just closes when you get near it, which kind of sucks. I mean, I know for a lot of people, they're like, oh, it doesn't matter, but it's just little things like that where they try to make it look super immersive at E3, and then when it comes out, you see like maybe. 20% of those super immersive things. Yeah. Cough, cough, the graphics. I think, like, I saw a video as well saying how in E3 the reflections were all, like, super dynamic and realistic, whereas it doesn't really do that anymore. And I'm gonna die in a minute. I'm just. I'm getting wrecked here. Got a boss. Oh, that was easy. Loot! Gotta get that loot. Things like one left. Wait for him to pop his head out and we'll take it off. Do a little cheeky roll. Didn't see that coming. Ninja Jordan's on this. No, another roll. Oh! And I miss horribly. That wasn't missing, that was suppressing fire. Suppressing fire is like my go to excuse for missing horribly. Oh, I was suppressing. Not missing. Yeah, we did. Got some cool gear utility holster. Let's equip that. And can't equip that, so we'll just loot. Nice. What? Lag. Lag. <laughs> and we've lagged. Okay, the game has just disconnected me. But you know what? That's fine because I think we've been recording for about 10, 15 minutes, which is what I wanted to do because this was just a short first impressions video. Going to be making some more videos on this game, probably like the second I'm finished with this. But that was like a... Just, just wanted to show off... You know what it's like first hopping into the game. So far, I think it's it's looking really good. Okay, it it does look like it's gonna be a lot of fun. I can't say for sure, obviously everything, but I'm gonna make a few more videos on it, and I will obviously let you guys all know. I'm gonna make some videos on it and stuff like that. But yeah, definitely go check this game out. It comes out on PS4 and PC tomorrow, the beta. Um, and if you have an Xbox One, you can hop on the beta today. And I think it ends on Sunday. But so far, it doesn't look quite as good as it did at E3 graphically, but it is still. A really good looking game. The gameplay is really nice. Gameplay always over graphics, and it has. Lo it's looking like a good RPG as well. You got loot and stuff. You got some ability. You got you know a skill tree leveling up. You get XP for exploring, which is pretty cool. It's a small addition, but XP for exploring is always nice because you know it, it encourages people to go and explore the world, which also means that obviously they're pretty confident that their world is interesting, and you're gonna want to go and explore it. So I'm quite interested to see the world building in this game, just to see what it's like, and yeah, just overall really excited to get into this game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did split, uh, splee, please smack that like button. And if you enjoy the content I make, subscribe. And uh, yeah, one more thing. I am doing a giveaway again. I did one last week. Um, the winners have been chosen. I haven't put it on Twitter yet, but I will be uh, emailing all three winners. Uh, well, pretty much as I finish this video. But um, as the beta is now, now out, there will be another three keys to give away. So I'll be giving away one key for each platform again. Uh, the results will be in... Uh, this one's going to last a bit longer. I will announce the winners when the game comes out, which is about two weeks or so. So yeah, uh, comment comment if you want to win that and also obviously what platform you want to win it on. Didn't tell people to do that last time. Made a mistake and I didn't know what platform everyone wanted. But yeah, make sure you comment what platform you want. And yeah, hope you guys have an awesome day. Catch you later.